So many improvements have been made since the original design so we're going to go ahead and talk through some of the aspects of this engine. Now I've gone ahead and used the much smaller design for the piston. This allows a reduction in surface area contacting the cylinder walls and translates to less friction in addition to improved efficiency. Now the connecting rod uses two Lego Technic beams instead of the one used in the previous design and the crank journals use just a single 40 tooth gear. So this in fact is a two stroke engine with ignition timing set every one revolution but unlike a real two stroke it doesn't rely on positive crankcase pressure to draw the mixture in, instead uses an air pump with a separate power supply. Now this model actually has a PCV, uh, it just prevents the gases from going back the other way once combustion happens. Of course we've got an ignition system, it's just a spring that bridges two contacts just a bit past top dead centre. And of course we've got the flywheel, just to keep the momentum of the engine going. So it's probably not enough to get the motor going so I tried cranking it up but releasing it quickly reduces the pressure inside the tank which then lowers the boiling point of the butane which then clogs the lines with ice. So I'm going to go ahead and use petrol which is used in typical lawn mowers. I've just filled it up so I've got an air pump which takes outside air and forces it down through a tube it's got hose at the bottom which is submerging the fuel. Uh, this creates bubbles which float to the top and basically exits up another line into the cylinder. So I've decided to add a bit of lubrication. This is there to hopefully seal the gap between the piston and the cylinder walls. And although it'd be nice to turn the engine over by hand, I'm probably going to use a drill with a ratcheting mechanism. And the point of this is, is that so when the engine does start to turn, it can do so freely without being inhibited by the electric drill. Now, the ignition system uh, gets its voltage from a bug zapper. Uh, it's actually fed through an actual spark plug at the top of the engine. Now the engine is actually able to pour a vacuum by itself which is I guess natural aspiration although it might need a bit of forced induction when the oil is no longer there and doesn't do a good job sealing. So what's cool about this design is that I can control how fast the air pump is spinning. Uh, this effectively controls the amount of fuel and air that's entering the cylinder. So I can adjust it based on the conditions of the engine and I can kind of play around with it just to see what results I get at different speeds. After an unsuccessful run, I realized that I forgot to make the exhaust ports. The burnt up gases need to escape to make room for the fresh fuel and air coming in. In order to solve this problem, I've just drilled three holes that become exposed when the piston hits bottom dead center just to allow for for the uh, burnt up gases to escape and here's a quick example Before. 
Now, don't mistake the spark plug firing for combustion. There is an audible thud or bang when the fuel and air is ignited. The rest is just electricity bridging the air gap created by a ticking sound. Now, I just can't seem to get it to fire consistently. And remember, I'm using pre-mixed 40 to 1 petrol and oil. Uh, I need a much more volatile fuel source, kind of like nitromethane that's used in my previous video. So the only problem with that is basically all the hobby stores are closed. Um, so I really can't get a hold of nitromethane. I might end up having to take the drive and go to my mate's house for some. So let's do that and I'll see you guys in a bit. Smart. Don't put too much, just put like the same amount. Emulsified, is that the right term? And then go again. Go. <laughs> it's it's, bro, it's, <laughs> it's slow. It it's so slow. There we go. Dude, it's going every time yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the perfect this is the perfect speed and the perfect amount of fuel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo! But it's not going by itself. Oh! Yeah. It is, it is. Well, I don't know. I don't want I don't wanna I just wanna see how long it can go. Dude, it's going every yeah, single yeah. time now. What do we do? I don't know. Do so the fuel or the res? The res? Where, when you add res, it just yeah, yeah, yeah. goes away. You gotta go like this much and add a bit more fuel. Let it build up. Mm -hmm. Dude. <laughs> oh, oh shoot. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it, it survived though. There's like no, uh, as far as I know, it's, it's perfectly fine. You can keep going. It doesn't smell perfectly. Let's <laughs> keep going though. That was insane. Ready? Both cameras. Piston head. 
That's the limit right there. Yeah. What is that? What is going on? It's sizzling. Wait, is it on fire? It's, it's freaking boiling, that's what's happening. I can't eat it's it's so <laughs> <laughs> it's so soft. Yeah. Like no we can't see. Right there, right there. The, the top is perfectly, uh, mm -hmm. the spark plug held much better than I expected. Smoking. <laughs> Dude, it's so soft. Wait, show the camera. Touch it. It smells too. Wait, where's the piston head? That's the limit right there. Yeah. What is that? What is going on? It's sizzling. Oh, well, that's a piece of it. Piston right here. I can't eat it's it's so <laughs> it's so soft. Yeah. Like no we can't see. Right there, right there. <laughs> 